Hey, my name is Matt Johnson, and if you have a lot of audio and video clips that you need to sync together, like if you're editing a wedding ceremony, for example, and you have a lot of camera angles and microphones all recorded from different cameras and recorders, but you need them all to sync together in one timeline, here's two ways to do it fast in Adobe Premiere Pro. First, open up Premiere Pro and import your audio and footage, which I've already done here, and I have them on all these different bins, like groom mic, efficient mic, left tripod, right tripod. Next, if you've synced audio and video in the past, you know that you would traditionally drag your audio and video clips over here to the timeline, putting them all on their own tracks, and then you could select them all, right click and select synchronize, make sure it's selected audio, press okay, and then Premiere is going to process and sync up these audio and video tracks. So this just took a while, and I only had two audio tracks and one video track, and typically for a wedding ceremony, you're going to have a lot more, and this can get super time consuming. So, here's a faster way to do things. We can close this test sequence now, and then over here, let's just make a new folder in the footage folder. I'm gonna select all of these audio and video clips that I have from the wedding ceremony, Press Control C on PC or Command C on Mac. Let's go to the ceremony bin and press Command V or Control V. And that is going to paste all of these audio and video clips into the same bin. It doesn't matter how they're labeled, it doesn't matter where they come from, just put them all into this bin. Then with them all selected, right click and select Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence. Wait, Matt, are we making a multi-camera sequence? Yes, actually, this is a little shortcut to sync up everything, but this is not a multi-cam tutorial, so do not freak out. We are not changing the title of this tutorial halfway through. Now, most of these settings are good by default. You can leave this labeled multi-cam ceremony. Just make sure that for synchronized point, audio is selected, so Premiere will be analyzing the audio from your audio files. And then down here under the audio section, make sure that for sequence settings, you have this set to all cameras. You do not want it set to camera one because then it's only gonna focus on the audio from camera one, you want it to focus on the audio from all of your cameras. For audio channels preset, you can leave that on automatic, leave it on enumerate cameras, and let's press okay. Premiere is then going to analyze all of these clips, and depending on how many clips that you have, this could take a little bit. So if you have a whole wedding ceremony with a ton of different angles and audio, go have a stretch, walk around a bit, then come back and it should be done. Now if a warning pops up here saying audio synchronized failure, do not worry, we're gonna cover how to fix this in just a bit. Over here on the left, you're gonna see that you end up with this new multi-cam ceremony sequence, and let's not leave it in this footage folder, let's drag it down here to this sequences folder, so that way things are a little bit cleaner. Next step, I want you to make a new sequence. So I'm gonna select this sequences folder so the new sequence appears there. I'm gonna press Control in on PC or Command in on Mac that's gonna open up the new sequence dialog box. And then I have a custom sequence here that is in 4K at 24 frames per second because that matches up with frame rate and resolution that I want for my ceremony. And then let's call this sequence ceremony and press OK. Now here is the important step. Here in this new sequence that you've created, there's this left button that says insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. Make sure that this is unselected and is not lit up blue. With this deselected then, let's go over here to this new multi-cam ceremony sequence that we made and drag it over here to this sequence. Let go and check it out. There is all of our synchronized audio and video files put together on the timeline. Now this does look a little cluttered. We have an extra blank track up here, but I will warn you that this is just because I'm only syncing two video tracks. If you have a lot of video clips that you're trying to synchronize all at once from a complete wedding ceremony, you could end up with 30 plus different video tracks with different video clips on all them. It can look super messy. So let's clean up this timeline. With this sequence selected, go up to sequence in the top left and go down to simplify sequence. You can then leave this sequence name, we'll call it ceremony simplified. Make sure that you check the close vertical gaps on video tracks. And then you can also go down here and make sure that you select remove from both and select empty tracks and then press okay. Check it out, Premiere has automatically deleted that empty track, and if you have a lot of different video tracks, Premiere is going to compress them all down into just a few video tracks, which is gonna make things so much cleaner and easier and quicker for you to edit. 
Of course, the audio is still gonna be on its own individual tracks, but I'm gonna explain an alternative way for how to fix this in a moment. For now though, let's address what to do if Premiere gives you that warning saying that it cannot sync everything after you create this new sequence. If it does that, it's most likely because some of your sources of audio were only recording in mono instead of stereo. So to fix that, you're gonna to have to find out which audio track did not automatically sync, and unfortunately, Premiere is not gonna tell you. Instead, I found it best to right click on the track, select Reveal in Project, and then you can go through and you can figure out which one of these tracks is currently not available. So I can tell that it is these two audio tracks that say 000 that did not sync. So I'm going to select both of them, right click, go to Modify, audio channels, and then here you can see that these are recorded in the mono format, and maybe the issue is that Premiere wants them to be in stereo to match up with the other audio tracks. So to change that, you can change this to stereo here, and then you can press OK. Finally, to complete the syncing up of these two tracks, you can select each of them individually, drag them down to the timeline onto their own tracks, press Control A on PC or Command A on Mac, right click and select synchronize. Make sure that for the synchronize point, audio is selected and press okay. And Premiere will then analyze these audio and video tracks again and voila, it will then sync up these audio tracks that it did not find initially. This is a great way to fix things. I really wish that Premiere had a way to tell you which specific tracks were unable to sync because digging through to find them can really be a pain. In addition, while Premiere will sync all of your audio and video, it doesn't do anything to fix audio drift either. So if you run into an issue where your video and audio get out of sync over time, with this method, you have to do things manually. But what if you don't want to have to fix your audio drift manually? What if you want to guarantee that all of your video and audio files sync and that any audio drift is taken care of? Well, Here's the second technique for syncing your audio and video, and spoiler, this is the one that I prefer to use. But I will warn you, it does cost money, unlike the free way that I just showed you. To sync up your audio and video this second way, you're gonna want to download a program called Pluralize, which at the time of making this video currently costs 299 bucks. I'll also warn you that it is a bit difficult to find the one-time payment option for this program. So I'm gonna link down below to specifically where you should go to make sure that you get the perpetual license version that does not require a monthly subscription. Also, for the sake of ethics, I want you to know that this video isn't sponsored by Pluralize. They don't even know that I'm making it. Next, once you have purchased and installed Pluralize, here's the first thing that I love about this program. Open it up and drag all of your audio and video clips into it. It does not matter how many clips you have, it does not matter how you film them, we're just gonna go in here, select all of these audio video clips, and drag them into Pluralize, just like that. Pluralize is going to immediately begin analyzing all these clips, and then once they're analyzed, you can press Synchronize. Pluralize will immediately begin synchronizing all of your audio and video clips, and apply an audio sync drift correction that will prevent them from getting out of sync over time. Then press Export Timeline, and you can select where you want to save this XML file. In this case, I'll call it Ceremony, and I'll save it into a Pluralize folder next to my project file. Press Export, and then Pluralize is gonna spit out this beautiful Ceremony.xml file. Back in Premiere, I'm gonna drag this Ceremony.xml file down to the Sequences folder that we made. And here in this Ceremony folder that Pluralize made, you're gonna have this new synced sequence. Double click on that to open up and check it out. Pluralize has synchronized all of the audio and video tracks onto their own tracks and everything's already neatly organized and ready for you to edit. In this case, it has these audio tracks at the beginning that it synced together but didn't have any video clips to sync with it, so it didn't need to do that. And then also in Pluralize, you'll notice here that for this 004 clip, it was in red which means that it failed to synchronize as Pluralize said. Thankfully, Pluralize just puts that at the end, and so this audio tracks right here, and then if I want to try to manually sync it or find out where it is, I can then bring it back over and try to find a place for it wherever it needs to go with the ceremony. And there you have it. This second technique to synchronize your audio and video files will cost you a bit, but you only have to buy Pluralize once, and considering this is a bit easier and faster than using Premiere's built-in tools, especially if you have a lot of audio and video clips to synchronize, or if you oftentimes find yourself dealing with audio drift, I think the Pluralize is completely worth the purchase.
Speaking of things being worth the purchase, I highly recommend you check out this video's sponsor, Musicbed. If you're a wedding filmmaker like me, I'm sure you need music for your films. And one of my favorite places to license high quality music is Musicbed. I've been using Musicbed since way back in 2011, and over the past decade plus time, they just keep getting better. With artists like Cody Fry, Tall Heights, and Bright Pink. This is gonna be the best day ever. You got me looking so fresh. I can't get no better. There are thousands upon thousands of songs available from real musicians that will sound amazing in your videos. And they've recently been adding a lot of classical and vintage music too from the 1940s to 1960s. As a huge plus too, Musicbed offers complimentary song search services where you can tell them the kind of song or vibe you are looking for and they will send you a list of songs. They have projects where you can save playlists of songs and share them. And as another plus, Musicbed also includes the ability to search by key, so it is now much easier to mix together two songs with the same key. So, Musicbed is awesome, and if you want to sign up, you can use the link down in the description and enter the coupon code MATTMUSICBED, all one word, all caps, which will get you one month free with the purchase of an annual subscription. Thank you again to Musicbed so much for sponsoring this video, and thank you so much for watching. To offer you one last thing before I go now, if you happen to film weddings like me, I've put together a free guide called Level Up Your Wedding Films that is aimed at showing you some of the biggest things that took me many years to learn about filming weddings. This guide is completely free and you can download it at the link down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. It's like I'm never coming down